Okay, welcome back to this podcast today. This is going to be part two of the depression and how to basically keep your sanity in this crazy times that we're going through right now, currently. And you can always refer back to this um, podcast later on in the future, and it could be currently in that moment too. We're in the quantum space right now. Certain areas that I forgot to mention. Talking about nature being the first part of this aspect of therapy. The most therapeutic thing that you could do is really just either first thing in the morning or almost sunset time so that the sun is not so strong and it doesn't burn as much. But just stand under the sun and try to get as much as natural vitamin D as you can in that space and time and just enjoy and relax. Sometimes you can even sun gaze and for some people that works really well as well. Another thing that I'm going to go in more in depth is breath work. So if you're feeling down sometimes doing even with anxiety people are trained to basically slow down their breath and even with um, different types of mental diseases or whatever they call it you know people practice these types of breath works so what you want to do is breathe deep into your diaphragm not your stomach but like kind of like deep into your diaphragm make sure that you get as much as oxygen as you can and then keep it for a few seconds like five seconds or so and then release it and that will be if you repeat that a few times that can definitely make a huge difference in anxiety or whatever um not an expert just recommending things that works for myself of course have to always give the disclaimer Um, you don't want to forget about body movements because what happens usually is that people tend to want to go to sleep more often when they're depressed, when they're feeling down, and that's understandable. But what you want to do is actually trick your brain to do the opposite so that you could feel better. You see, sometimes even you're not feeling happy, what you can do is by different sort of body movements, you can trick your own mind and body Uh, Well, not your own mind, but your own body to basically start feeling better, you know. Um, Just try it out. It might not work for everybody. You do have to believe it deep down inside, though. So that's another thing. And speaking of believing, um, don't underestimate hope and faith. I know I didn't really touch much on the subject on the last one, but faith and hope are the two most invisible forces that if you have that inside and if you can cultivate that, you know, that's why I think sometimes religion, even though I'm not religious myself, can be helpful for people and I'm not against it for that reason, for them, not me though. So personally, I know the truth and I know a lot of programming in this world that we live in so I unplug myself out of that but for a lot of people faith is number one therapy and then they go to nature but for me is basically both of them working intertwined together and all the things that we could do to you know detox our mind from that feeling of low frequency smug or it's not a smug it's like a uh, I don't even know how to explain it sometimes but speaking of feeling that way I don't know if I mentioned this on the last one but a cleanse and a detox a herbal one especially for the body would be one of the greatest things that you could do every year or maybe every year twice or three times now because of all the poison that's in the food in the supermarkets Um, it's just how it goes. If you do a cleanse, your mind and your body will be happier too and your mood will change. And I would recommend that. Of course, not saying this will work for everybody. Again, I think that's one of the most important things that I left out. Thank you for listening. And again, as always, 
Welcome back.